Mm, I'm addicted to sugar. I love, it's these Kit Kat ice cream cones. <laughs> Hi, it's Sydney Sweeney and I'm getting up close with Cosmo. My lasting memory? Oh my goodness, okay. There's so many, I mean, I love just hanging out with all the girls. So like when we do our fun little dances or definitely when uh, Alexa's character, Maddie ran up onto the stage and we had an entire chase out. It was a very intense scene. There was a lot of scrambling and running, uh, but it's always fun being able to do such high intensity scenes like that. I, I love having my friends and family on set. So I, as much as I could and uh, for COVID, regulation, safety, whatever works, I would try and uh, get my fans and family on set. It was it was just a tape. It was just a taped audition. So there wasn't much to it other than I just made sure I put the best tape forward and I read with my mom and uh, we sent it in and I ended up booking it off the tape. I saw one that was like uh, about the teachers of Euphoria, like if there were teachers and they were all dressed up like our characters, I thought it was really funny. <laughs> I've always been a huge fan of Florence Pugh, so when I saw that she was uh, fangirling over the show, that was amazing, because I think she's an incredible actress herself. <laughs> yeah, actually. Um, <laughs> I think Shaq DM'd me, and I thought that was really cool. <laughs> mm, I'm addicted to sugar. I love, it's these Kit Kat ice cream cones, and I'm obs I literally eat one like every night, and then I just love candy and barbecue chips and I love pizookies. It's these half cooked chocolate chip cookies in like a pizza pan. And then they put ice cream on top, vanilla ice cream. And it's to die for. <laughs> Would love to do something that is in the action world. I'm a very athletic person. I grew up playing tons of sports. And so I think being able to tap into that side of myself would be a lot of fun. I would tell myself to love yourself more and to just keep dreaming big because anything is possible if you work really, really hard for it. In 10 years, I hope to be continuing being able to play incredible roles as an actress and producing, maybe directing, um, have a stable personal life and um, just traveling the world. Ooh, I mean, I, so when I was little, I used to dream of backpacking across Europe. And so I'm hoping that one day I can do that. And you get like a Eurail pass and you just go through all of Europe. And I just, I wanna go anywhere and everywhere and just see what happens in life. You know, I think that a lot of people see where I am now and where I am today. And they didn't see the journey or where I came from. And so they have seen a lot of things and I, I I'm glad that they're get, they're getting to be able to see the confident person that I've become, but um, there was a little girl that grew up in all of this and didn't have much and worked really hard. And I wish that people could have seen that because it was a really long and hard journey. Yeah, it was not an overnight thing. It was 10 years of a lot of work and um, losing a lot and trying to work towards a lot. And it wasn't just overnight and People always tend to make headlines that have nothing to do with what I said. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, gosh, I mean, it's endless. I find that headlines either don't even correlate to the article or things were just completely switched around. Oh, secret to happiness? Being surrounded by really good friends and family and loved ones my dream festival lineup? Oh gosh, um, I have not been to many festivals or concerts in my life. So I think I would be a terrible person to choose what would be a dream lineup. <laughs> I am so lame when it comes to music. I like, I'm obs I have so many songs on my phone, but the thing is, is I usually correlate soundtracks and, and music for each character and I forget to do music for myself. And so when people ask me what my favorite music is or what I listen to, I'm just, I blink and I glass over, so. <laughs> I actually went karaokeing for the first time in New York a few weeks ago 
And I ended up loving singing uh, Creep. And that was my, that was my song. Uh, I am currently filming a movie called National Anthem for Bronze Studios. Uh, Tony Toast is directing and he wrote it. Uh, it's an amazing film. I'm really excited for everyone to see it. I'm getting to work with such incredible actors. Like Paul Walter Hauser is just being able to sit in a scene with him is such a different experience. And he's so talented and he's just so in the moment. And it's amazing being able to work opposite a character and an actor that just truly you feel like you're listening to one another and uh, getting to work with Halsey and Eric again it's it's a great atmosphere to be in oh gosh my there's so many um I, I mean I'm obsessed with Meryl Streep and that would be an Anne Hathaway oh gosh there's so many of them my first job it was a zombie movie <laughs> It was a really, really cheesy, low budget zombie movie. <laughs> but I would like to do like an elevated horror film. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all.